Hey, this is Trevor, and I'm going to show you how to do a compound IK chain, like a knee or an elbow, which would be handy for perspective change. So, as you can see here, uh, I can move the ankle and the knee, and um, independently, and I can. can I can maintain um, the IK chain. All right. How you can do this is real simple, much simpler than it looked. So I already have a bone layer here and a vector layer here. And uh, I'm simply going to add bones. Um, this is going to be your standard leg IK chain. And the calf is targeted to the ankle. And it works as expected on frame one. Now, what we're going to do is add, first, I'm going to add a hip up here. So, I'm going to add a hip bone here which is going to be parented to that hip bone. And I'm going to add a knee bone here, and it's going to be parented to the thigh. And I'm going to create an ankle bone, and it's going to be parented to the calf. And you'll notice on frame one, everything shifts because everything, the IK chain, sustained and I can still move the knee. So back on frame one I'm going to create the thigh bones which your vector or vectors are going to be attached to and the original IK chain is simply going it's going to basically be the reference for everything else. Um, we're then going to use bone constraints to target your thigh bones to each other and then target your calf bones to each other. We'll go to frame one and everything still works. And when I'm making these complex chains, I often go to frame one and just make sure everything shifts. If everything shifts, you're good. So I simply go back. Now everything works. I'm going to go to my vector and I'm going to apply. I'm going to use those bones for my binding. Flexi binding. And normally I would build all these bones right over my original IK chain, but I did it this way as a demonstration. So I'm just going to scoot everything over like that. And as you can see, we now have a functioning rig here. It's easy as that. Thanks for watching.